Hello and welcome back to the finale. Well, no, that doesn't do anything. To the finale <laughs> of Let's React. I'm Kenny and we're leaving. No. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to season three, episode six of She-Ra, The Portal. The finale of season three of yes, She-Ra. the uh, ultimate episode, if the, you're Kenny. Last episode, uh, we were left with another cliffhanger with mm -hmm. Catra becoming evil, like, glitch Catra. The world glitching and uh, Raz telling Adora she needs to go back to where it all began with Bo and Glimmer to put things right. What do you think going into this episode? I'm wondering if Bo and Glimmer are going to have been affected by this like alternate universe situation and what they're going to remember. Yeah, we haven't seen really anything from princesses. Exactly. And how, well, except except Scorp Scorpia. Yeah. And she kind of remembered. Yeah. Okay. So Maybe princesses are less vulnerable to the like mind control. We ha hadn't put that together. Wow. Quite the cliffhanger last episode. I say we go ahead and jump in as soon as possible. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you have been enjoying this series and are excited for season four starting next Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to see uh, episode one and two of season four already, they're posted to the Patreon now. Check out the link in the description below to see the extended, uncut, ad-free versions of the episodes before uh, they come out on YouTube. We typically have to cut five to ten minutes of the episode to make it on YouTube, so if you want to see the full version, check out Patreon. All right. Are we excited for the season finale of season three of She-Ra? Can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Listen up, Dunderheads. This video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. Okay, so Brightman still looks normal-ish. Okay, Glimmer. What's gonna be changed, though? Okay, their relationship seems better. Are there gonna be some people that don't want to leave the simulation because they're happier? That Different outfit. Awesome. Can we do it one more time? Oh, that's quite enough for today. Did you two go flying without me? What? Oh, no, Mike is alive. <laughs> Wait a minute. Does that mean he's alive in real life? In real life. What I mean is, every character we've seen seems to be their actual selves but can't remember. Does this mean Micah's back? There hasn't been a character mm. that isn't in the show. This would be the first instance. If they bring him back. Wow. <laughs> They still haven't learned exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're getting good at that. I've been practicing. Yes. She only Aww. blew up my flower garden twice. Welcome home, love. Oh, you She's so much, much They're so, so much cute. fun without me. You can't have missed me much. <laughs> Short King. We love it. And Adora's gonna have to come and be like, we need to leave this. It's fake. Your dad's yeah. dead. And that's never gonna work for her. Nope. Oh, this is heartbreaking. <sighs> Hi, I'm Adora. You don't know who I am. Your dad's dead, and we need to leave to the worst place. Yeah. What? This is. We the caught a girl place. sneaking into Bright Moon. She was oh trying boy. to break into the princess's chamber. What? Please escort the princess safely to her room until we determine the trespasser's intentions. Is she not a commander in this? She's just a princess. Interesting. That's why she doesn't have her armor. She's uh. just like, oh. Glimmer! Is Glimmer gonna remember anything? I don't think she does. Maybe she will. She's a prince. Wow. I don't edit the intro much though. Oh, Bo. He's actually a scholar. Glimmer, uh -huh. what is going on? Everyone's really freaked out today. So got the shoes. In Bright Moon, and we need to figure out who she is. Why do we need to figure out who she is? Because I don't know. I just feel like I princess. Know her yep. So we're gonna she knew your and name. My parents interrogate her. I know it sounds crazy, but she came here for a reason. A Bright Moon interrogation. They're going to be like, please just tell, me. tell us the info. We know you've been through a lot, but it would be really helpful. Yeah. Bring in the prisoner. King Micah? You're here? Whoa, you look different than your mural. <laughs> truth spell. This is a truth spell. You will be compelled to answer honestly. Now tell us, who are you? Well, that's And handy. why did you break into yeah. Bright Moon? Well, his sister wow, tried to do it, and then Shadow Weaver explain. roasted um, her. It's gonna sound a little weird, but I swear, it's all true. You have a truth Reality spell, so obviously. in on itself because of the portal that Hordak and Catra set off from the Horde, except you don't remember the Horde because the Fright Zone disappeared just now. It was pretty crazy. She fully has her memory back. We by the portal, and we were fighting them along with the Princess Alliance. And I had a sword that could turn me into a warrior lady, really great hair named Shira, but the Horde used the sword to set up portal, and I need Glimmer and Bo to help stop it and save Etheria. I, uh... 
<laughs> Who are you? How do you know my daughter and the Royal Apprentice historian? He's a historian here? But well, that doesn't matter. We're best friends. I've never seen you before. Well, that's because normally you're dead. Oh no. <laughs> Threatening the king? How dare you say such a thing? I'm sorry, but none of this is right. You must have noticed it. What did you do yesterday? There's a reason you can't remember. This world is not real. I have heard quite enough. How do they dismiss that? Angela, yeah. it's all right. I need to talk to Bo and Glimmer. They're the strongest people I know. I need their help to stop reality from falling apart. Guards, escort this young woman and to she our must holding cell. so, like, deranged, you know? Yeah. Spare room. <laughs> I guess in Don't this reality, the guards She's actually lying. do stuff. But your truth spell mm -hmm. must have done it wrong. There's no way anything she said could be true. It's, it's not possible. I think Micah's alive. Okay, what do you think of that? I don't think he's alive. I think it's like a completely different reality. I'm gonna call this my, Kenny has seen a lot of cartoons and analyzed them sixth sense. He's thinking too much to not be real. You know what I mean? Like he's- I don't. He's turning and having thoughts where the camera zooms in on him. Like it just, it's not what you would do with a character that's actually not there. Well, no, I'm not saying that he's actually not there. I think he's there in this version of reality. But then when they go back to the real reality, he's still going to be dead. It's not possible. He has too much of a conscience. That's what I'm looking for. A conscience or consciousness? Consciousness. Uh, Bo, Glimmer. I knew you guys <laughs> She doesn't quite know how to use her powers because she hasn't been training. Listen, crazy lady. Mm -hmm. She doesn't My trust dad her. Had yeah. Never messed up a spell. You were telling the truth in there. How can that be? Of course you were listening in. I should have known. Okay, will you stop acting like you know us? We've never met you. Yes, you have. So in this reality, oh, he didn't even want to become an explorer. Times than I can count. Or maybe he did and you're just a great couldn't. Fighter, mm. A genius inventor. I shouldn't worry about what your dads think. They're proud of you. Just like I am. Oh. You never give up and you never admit defeat. I know making friends is hard for you, yet you're the one who pulled this all together. I've never met anyone like you. Glimmer's emerging as one of my such favorite a weird characters. Weird vibe. Just yeah. A Bo isn't a fighter. He's Bo. Crop top. This, this isn't right. I mean, yeah, everything the crop is top. perfect. <laughs> everyone keeps it's like my abs are supposed to be showing. Right. Oh. My dad. He's gone, isn't he? Oh, yes. princesses can see through the I'm fog, sorry. I guess. But Bo was also able to kind of recognize it, which is interesting. Uh, yeah. It's starting to happen here too. We don't have much time. So what do we do now? We fix reality somehow. Look, Raz Great. Told me to okay, at least they're on the same the side now. Mm -hmm. I thought that was going to take means. longer. Well, you said a portal did all of this. Can you think of anyone who'd know how to make up? There are more planets in the sky behind them. Oh, trapped up. Do you see them? Yeah. Look at all of them. Glimmer, can you teleport us to drill? I barely managed to teleport me and Bowen here. We'll just have to do this the best friend squad way. Oh boy. This is how we normally do things? Yeah, we improvise. <laughs> I really don't like improvising. Bo's voice cracks get me every time. This is so funny. Just the concept of like knowing that you were best friends with someone but having no memory of it. Yeah. Is that the prisoner? Sparkles. There's a door here. Uh, guys. Step oh, away from my no. Crap. Now, mom, stop. Can't you see what's happening? Oh boy. All right. Well, at least we're on the same page now. Angie. Oh, what's wrong? Sorry. No. Oh. Hello. Entrapta? They're a drill. Do I know you? And her tech all works perfectly. What if this is a scenario where the first ones are like, aren't you happier? This is the, this is perfect. Mm -hmm. Why would you want it any different? And then everything will be perfect again. You know, maybe he isn't real. This is perfect, my love, but it's not real. I oh. remember now. I miss you so much. But Glimmer needs my help. I can't stay with nothing but memories. Angela. Oh. Goodbye, Micah. Oh. And he's just gonna Angela. dissipate. Wait, 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 wait. I need to double check this moment. We need to put on subtitles. We're putting on subtitles just to see what he said. Angela. Angela, why? You're right. 
he's alive. I'm sorry. Okay. He is alive. All right. I'm not could mean a lot of things. He remembered and said, I'm not, because I think he's been trapped in the simulation longer than any of them. He's been there ever since. Okay. <sighs> this is getting interesting, but this is so sad. Yeah. And she thinks he's gone forever. Yeah. Now do you buy into my theory a little bit more? Mm, like a, like, like a, little a little bit? Like a little bit. Yeah. This is fascinating. I've never had non-robots visit me before. It's just me and all my friends. Friends? <sighs> um, Aren't they amazing? <laughs> the uwu <laughs> robots? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look too appetizing. Oh, sorry about that. Unless this is what you eat. I have so many questions. I bet Tell she buys everything. into the theory easily. Mm -hmm. What I'm about to say sounds crazy. Is this about the unstable portal that's slowly consuming and warping our reality? No. Holy Wait, what did you just say? Oh, yep, she knew it immediately. An unstable portal that would account for all the anomalies I've been picking up in my research. Really? Oh, the anomalies. That's what she was referring world. to. And as mm -hmm. long as it's still open, it's going to keep destabilizing reality, oh. making things disappear faster. So maybe this is real. Which is a bad thing. How do we stop it? Portals are gateways that connect one area of space to another. The only way to turn it off is from the inside. Whoever shuts the portal down can't leave. They'll be trapped That's what between Micah realities was. possibly yep. forever. Oh, imagine the data they could collect. Wait. And Mara. You're so right. That's what happened. Wait. Oh, this sh Now I get why everybody's obsessed with these last few seasons. I have a theory. All right. There's one fact of it that doesn't make sense, but when Mara was Shira, which was way before any of them were around, she closed the portal and got trapped. Mm -hmm. When Hordak, that portal opened, maybe Micah was the one to close that one. But then again, the reason why Micah was on a battlefield fighting was because the Horde was already there and fighting. But wait, no, no, no. Maybe the day that he went and got Adora, Micah closed that portal. Okay, I'm going to say multiple portals. One with Mara, one with Micah. No, I agree. I'm saying that Mara's happened, I think, earlier. And then during, like... Okay, okay. Mara opened a portal in order to send Eternia into Despondos. In opening that portal, she somehow also sucked Hordak into that portal, sending him on to Eternia, whereas Mara went into this like cosmic jail, basically. Mm -hmm. The war ensues. Hordak manages to open another portal, and in that portal, he jumps in, grabs Adora, and then it closes quickly. Why did it close quickly? Micah yeah. closed that one. You're right, multiple portals. I think that's our timeline. All right. What do you think? I think that makes a lot of sense. Right? This is wild. Mm -hmm. Whoever turns it off will be trapped inside it forever? Exactly. There must be another way. Try to remember Entrapta when you and Hordak built the portal yeah. machine. Mm. Remember. I remember. I had a lab partner, Hordak. Oh. We were friends, and then Katra... You oh. Maybe Entrapta is a friendship. I remember everything now. I'm not really here. Oh boy. No, this can't be happening already. We should have more time. There's no more time. It all makes sense now. It's your sword. That portal is centered on you, following you. What? Oh. She has to close it. No! You need to remove the what? sword from the inside. It's powering portal. It's so she has fun. to go in. Everything will be right again. It was nice being friends with you. It's what? And she called her a friend. Oh no. Yeah. They're out of Despondos. What do you make of that? I mean, Adora's gonna have to go get the sword, but I don't see any way that she can do that without ending up trapped, you know? Yeah. Reality is unraveling faster now. I, I think we might be too late. But Mara? 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 It's Mara. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, and now she's gone immediately. Are you freaking Come kidding on. me? We've been waiting so long. Wait, Mara portal Serenia, does it? Stay here. Trap to said the portal is centered on me. You're she's gonna go as in. As long as we're together. If I draw it away, no. No. I know what you're thinking, Adora. You said you knew us. Well, we know you. Oh. You can't relax to save your life. You're terrible at acting. You're stubborn and headstrong, and you're our best friend. 
Oh. No. Oh no. 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 You got this, Adora. Believe in you. Oh no. Oh no. Corrupted Catra. Hey, Adora. Hate that. Whoa. Crimson Waste? Oh, yeah. Where are your friends? Catra! Oh my stop. god. You have to go. I have to do this. Let's be honest. All of this is your fault. Oh my gosh. If you hadn't gotten captured, your sword wouldn't have opened the portal. Oh my god. Oh. What? If you hadn't been the world's worst She-Ra, none of this would have happened. Um... What is happening? The world would still be standing if you had never come through that portal in the first place. Possession of Catra. Yeah. You made me this. Glitch in the Matrix, it seems like. You in the Matrix. This is just very much that. Mm. You broke the world and it is all your fault. I mean, Catra pulled the lever. No, it's not! Hey! Yes, queen. Switch. Get her. I Let's go. That's the thing, Adora's a better fighter. She just never tries against her because she doesn't she doesn't want to hurt her. You made your choice. Live with it. Oh. Oh. That was that doesn't happen That's in this a show. Solid punch. That doesn't happen. Whoa. Oh, she got knocked out. Yeah. Who's giving her those notes? Yeah. The catcher's falling too. Oh. oh. Is she starting to dissipate? Adora, hold on! Stop it. Don't tell me she closed. Are you it. serious? Hold on. I have goosebumps. I Whoa. Adora. I know this world isn't our own. How do we fix this? Don't tell me she's gonna sacrifice herself. Stop it. Whoa, there's the sword. Oh my god, there's the sword. Oh no 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 oh, no no no. no. Go back to the beginning. Res meant my beginning. I can fix everything. Just need to go into the portal and pull out the sword. That'll turn it off, and everyone will come back. Soon. And you'll come back safe too. She's uh, not gonna let her do about it. That. She, you'll oh come no. back too, right? I have to do this. This is my destiny. Oh, Adora. No, this is not it. She's gonna sacrifice this is herself. The only way to fix things. Do you want to know a secret? I am a coward. What? No. I've always been the queen who stays behind. Micah was the brave one. And then Glimmer. Oh, Glimmer. So much like her father. Once again, oh. I stayed behind. Letting her make the hard choices. Letting her be brave for me. I told myself I was being responsible. I was just scared. And then I met you. You inspired us. You This is a final speech. Me. Not because it was your destiny, but because you never let fear stop you. And now I choose to be brave. No, oh no. This is gorgeous, but oh no. Take care of each other. Oh no. Does this mean that she's gonna lose the sword too? Or does the sword just fall down? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Angela's gone. Oh my god. So the portal's still open. I think it's shutting itself. Oh, and maybe she's about to come back through? Or, uh, what? No, it's just done. Yeah, or... Oh boy. Shira. Bow. That's the first time she's ever been scared That was her. fear, yeah. yeah. But did they actually Country lose Angela? We need to go. Yeah. No. I just... Oh, no. Whoa. What Shadow Weaver being the one who, like, gets them out yeah. safely? Oh, my gosh. 
So I think Queen Angela sacrificed herself. Yeah, I think, I think she, she's gone. Oh, and Glimmer is now an orphan. Stop it. Yeah. She's not dead. Trapped is different mm. than dead. I mean, for all intents and purposes. But from a writing perspective. Yeah. I think that here's a glimmer. I'll see myself out. Uh, here's a glimmer of hope. Maybe her and Micah are in the same place now. Maybe, or maybe next season they're going to try to figure out how to get people out of portals. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, but wow, what a scene. What a That's sequence. Crazy. I need to, I'm going to watch it again editing, but that was yeah. amazing. Uh. Oh no. And the last image she saw of her was breaking her rules and leaving. Yeah. Of my life, but um, reality is back to normal. Speaking of which, gonna tell her. I guess I should go find my mom. Maybe she'll be so happy to see me that she'll forget about grounding me. Adora, what is it? Oh no. Angela, she stayed behind. She, she saved us. Oh no. There's still planets in the sky. Whoa. Is this Horde Prime? So that's where you've been, little brother. Oh. Whoa. So we got the message. Oh. Um. So. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. okay. So Horde Prime now knows now where they knows are. Now is probably coming. Yeah, with that fleet. Maybe the portal itself was just causing all those issues because Horde mm -hmm. Prime definitely didn't know about it. Right. Probably wasn't the first ones. Oh, a lot of questions after that. But yeah. Wow, what a finale to season three. That was incredible. Yeah. yeah. Any first wow. thoughts? I'm so sad. That was so sad. Oh, and I have a feeling it's going to keep getting worse. Oh, no. Yeah, we're really entering the sad part of both shows. Um, Great. Yeah. And yeah, fun fact you haven't entered the sad part of Attack on Titan yet. You've got to be fucking <laughs> me. So I should just stop wearing eye makeup. Yeah, no, it, or wear waterproof. Forward, but uh, <laughs> not wearing waterproof. Wow. A lot to discuss, a lot to analyze. Uh, before we do that, where are we headed? All right, let's go to the episode verdict. So thank you for watching that episode. Uh, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. If you, I mean, I don't know how much you can enjoy that episode, but uh, if you cried along with, uh, I mean, I didn't cry because, you know, I'm I'm a tough guy, but uh, Montana mm -hmm. is softy. I'm going to go, okay. I'll cry later. Uh, but <laughs> I cry a lot. Yeah, I cry a lot as well, but you know. Not but over TV shows. Anyway, uh, uh, our next episode, season four, episode one, will be coming this Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to see the first few episodes of season four now they are posted to the patreon linked in the description below you can join the patreon at any level and uh also start asking us questions after every episode for now let's get to question one seraphine pelletier asks here's a fan classic is the corrupted catra at the end of this episode catra at her very worst a manifestation of dora's fears and insecurities brought to the surface or a combination of the two it's a deep That's question a really good question right yeah i think it has to be corrupted catra because if it was gonna be the worst case scenario for adora i think glimmer and Bo wouldn't have like remembered her and been supportive of her if it was truly mm. like adora's worst reality everything else excluding catra would have also been a lot worse yeah but because catra was kind of like an anomaly in terms of how much worse she was i think it's it's more a representation of corrupted catra i guess my thinking is that this was all seemed to be kind of a construct and i'm still confused as to what exactly was happening because the fact that angela was able to sacrifice herself means she was physically there mm -hmm. then the other people faded away like it just makes me question but for on from a raw perspective i think that potentially this happened in Adora's mind in a way. Like somehow she's the key to all this and everybody got thrust into her mind in a way. And in that way, when Catra got more glitched, it became part of a manifestation of Adora's worst insecurities. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know, but that's that's a fascinating question. I'm gonna keep pondering that one. Let's go to question two. This is funny. Uh, apparently, I don't know if you remember, do you remember back at season one, I actually predicted Angela was about to sacrifice herself? Yeah. At all. Oh no, she's gonna have to use some final. Oh no, I have a bad idea. I think the queen might sacrifice herself. You're free to check the 
king. No. Ron, no! What is it? He's going to sacrifice himself. Well, that came around. So JHTR asks, Poor Montana, do you personally blame Kenny for this ending after his prediction while watching the season one finale? Absolutely, you jinxed it. Yeah, I did kind of jinx it. Now I understand why the chat exploded. I <laughs> It started moving and I didn't look because every time the chat starts blowing up, unless it's a point where I expect it to, I always look away. Thank God I did. Smart. My own zinger asks, how do you foresee Adora and Catra's relationship continuing after this episode? Do you think she will continue to hold out hope for Catra? or has a line been crossed? I think a line's been crossed because it's not about Adora and Catra anymore. It's about Adora and Glimmer yeah. like, because it, now Catra will forever be associated with ruining Glimmer. That was that look. That was that look that scared Catra exactly. because Adora has shown that she is very capable of defeating Catra in combat, but every single time she holds back because it's Catra. Catra's not holding back because she has nothing but rage and anger. I think what we're going to see is her no more nonsense with Catra because her weakness and allow and also Cat glitch Catra being like, you allowed this by allowing this to happen, blah, blah, blah. She's going to be like, it is on me. I allowed Catra to progress to this point. I could have stopped her, but now Queen Angela is gone. No more. And I think the only way that that changes is if somehow they all go through a portal together and Catra somehow plays a role in getting Angela back. Yeah. Because they made it clear that it was not death. It was being somebody has to stay back and be trapped. And we also saw Mara for a brief second. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. We saw Mara. We saw Micah. And we saw, I mean, obviously we saw Angela. But I think that maybe they're all in a similar spot. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, I think a line's been crossed. I don't think there's any forgiveness left unless something like that happens. What do you think? I feel like it's kind of like a sibling thing or just like a friend thing. But if someone attacks me or is saying negative stuff about me, that's fine. Like, it is what it is. They clearly have some stuff going on. Whatever. Not my circus, not my monkeys. If someone says something about my sister or my friends, game over. Yep. You're done. There's no coming back from that. And I think the fact that Glimmer now doesn't have a mom is something that Catra is not going to be able to come back from. She could have come back from anything she did with Adora, but not anymore. Yeah, I think for our last question, we want to, I, I can just go ahead and ask, uh, where are we going from here? What's next for season four? Our, We're going to give some predictions and then uh, that'll be it. What are your first thoughts? I think Horde Prime is going to invade. I think they're going to try to get Queen Angela back. And I don't know what exactly is going to happen with Catra, but I'm thinking maybe the like corrupted version of herself like the fear we saw at the end of that episode we have not seen from her so far so I'm wondering if that's like maybe a realization for her of just how wrong she's been yeah um which could potentially make a difference for her but yeah I don't know we'll see I think that that fleet's gonna show up and it's gonna force them all yeah. to team up like it's mm -hmm. the only answer and I judging by the tech advancement of Horde Prime I don't think it's gonna take them long to get there yeah I think that that he has a pinpoint he's gonna go after him and he said there you are little brother makes me think that he's actually been searching for him mm -hmm. and it's a loose end he wants to tie up so i think that's gonna happen i wonder what hordak's gonna think about that yeah i don't know like i first see a moment where horde prime comes back hordak's face to face with him and he's like you should be dead and then like horde prime tries to kill him or something and trap to saves him and then they end up going and being like this is mm -hmm. a bad move but there's there's an element i'm missing there's got to be yeah. something they do to gain the trust of the prince Princesses. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Then again, Shadow Weaver kind of just turned over. I don't know. It's, yeah. it's really open-ended. I love how they opened up the world in these past few episodes in the universe, mm -hmm. um, quite literally. And uh, I'm really excited to see what happens moving forward. The one thing I did see is there were still planets in the background after the portal closed. Yeah. So maybe they're out of Despondos. Very interesting. I don't know that it's necessarily going to be a trust thing as much as it is like we have no other options, similarly to how it happened yeah. with Shadow Weaver. Like, they didn't trust her, but they had no other option other than to team up with Enemy her. of my enemy is my friend. Exactly. Yeah, and the, the other thing I want to mention is that destroyed planet in front of Horde's ship. Like, that yeah. shows what they're capable of. Mm -hmm. And the one big question I have is, if... Shira and all the princesses could barely handle horde troops attacking Bright Moon. How are they going to handle a space fleet? Yeah. It doesn't really make sense, but I'm interested to yeah. see. I think that's about it for this episode. Uh, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you're excited for episode one of season four that's coming next Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to go ahead and see that episode and more early, check out the Patreon linked in the description below where you can see the uncut, extended, ad free versions of the episodes. That's about it for this season. Are we excited for season four of Shira and the princesses of power absolutely all right let's get it let's go